Today it's a cappuccino at uh, Gloria Jean's Woi Woi Deepwater Plaza. Yeah, it feels good. Um, as you say, it's been a long time coming. We were together for 11 years uh, before, we took, before we got married. So, um, you know, it was a good feeling and a, and a great day. Yeah, it felt really good, you know. Um, obviously, I've grown close to a lot of the players and coaches at my time at the Mariners and even outside of the Mariners. Um, it would obviously be nice to have the whole team there, but, you know, numbers are restricted at these sort of things. So, you know, it was a good feeling to know that some of the boys were there and, um, you know, they made the night enjoyable. Yeah, no honeymoon as yet. Um, the next day we, we just had a family gathering and obviously, you know, quite tough getting married in the middle of the season. But, um, you know, when the season's over and we, we have some holidays, I'm sure we'll, we'll get off somewhere. Yeah, the boys are doing really well, you know, been really sharp all week. And, um, you know, we've got one more, we've got the captain's run tomorrow just before Saturday night. And the boys are really excited to get back on our home ground and uh, put in a good performance after last week and, and get the three points for our fans. Yeah, they're in some good form, you know, I think they've won four in a row um, and they've got some quality players. I think, you know, the key for us to, to beating them is to sticking to our game plan and obviously keeping the ball a lot better than we have in previous weeks. Um, and if we do that, I think we can put in a good performance. Um, everyone knows that last week wasn't good enough, so we want to fix that and put in a good performance for our fans. Yeah, it's going to be a good encounter. Um, you know, he's, he's had a, a long history of that club, obviously been really successful and a huge part of the, the team for the last few years. Um, always looking forward to playing against him. Um, everyone knows what he's about, he's, he's, he's quality down that right side, so the boys are going to have to be on their toes to be able to contain him. Yeah, Rocket's going really well and, um, and we're still getting along really well. He's um, obviously playing his... Uh, his old team this week and I think he's really looking forward to that. I think every player that comes up against our old team is looking to put in a good performance and um, I think Robert's no different so I'm sure he'll let his performance do all the talking he needs to and um, you know hopefully he can put in a really good performance and help the team. Yeah I think I'm still probably a little bit off um, you know being out of the game for close to 18 months um, is, you know, it's taken a little bit of time to get back on my feet, but I feel as each game goes on, I'm, I'm getting stronger and fitter, and um, you know, I'm really looking forward to getting some more minutes under my belt, and and hopefully, we, you know, getting to that top form where to help the team uh, perform well and, and reach the top of the table. Look, it's a huge opportunity for Arnie and, and Clarkie as well. Um, you know, these opportunities don't come up very often, and. The same with players, when, when someone gets an opportunity like that, you have to wish them well. It's obviously disappointing to, to see them leave, but you know it's a great opportunity for them and, and it's an opportunity for, for, for people within our club to, to get their chance and move forward. So we wish them well and you know it's a huge step forward for both of them and um, hopefully they can be successful in Japan.